Hello everybody, my name is Idiotic Synergy, and today we're talking about Scriptor Mortis. He's a ghost with a pen. Ooh, well actually it's a quill. How dare I get that wrong? But regardless, I like this model. It's simple, it's to the point, and I like how they called him a spiteful hero. The Night Haunts aren't exactly happy, are they? They're either depressed or bitter. That's I kind of like them. I kind of relate to that a little bit. <laughs> oh dear. They sentence enemy heroes to eternal torment. So it's like Death Note. Oh god. Now that I said that, a wild DK will appear and talk about anime stuff. And most likely abs. Luckily this model has no abs. Uh, which is a good thing. Or a bad thing, depending who you are. I do like the fact he's been impaled and there's like this giant candlestick coming out of him. It's really cool. It is r such a cool model. I, I love it. I do love it. Though, how building this, right, I need to have a look at the sprue. Why do I get the feeling that building this model is swear worthy? Like you get halfway through and it's like, fuck, I've bent something out of place. Uh, but regardless, I, I like it. I really do. It's a nice model. Ha <laughs> ha! Good luck doing that. Oh god, that would take that <laughs> painting painting words on a book like that, or words within pages like that would take me a million plus years. Or maybe it's all transfer sheets. I'm hoping it's transfers, though. No one likes transfers. I do like them. I do like the script of Mortis, and I kind of want to know more about him. So. The script to Mortis record the rise of Nagash's empire and punish any who would stand against it. With a mere flick of a quill, they sentence souls to be dragged to the underworld. Ah, oh, what a lovely fella. You never get you never get a night horn like this is Larry. He writes poetry and for the most part is really cheerful. Everyone around him is slightly unnerved by how cheerful he is. Uh, it is it is said that the quill is mightier than the sword in the spiteful scribblings. <laughs> spiteful scribblings. Oh, mate, such an edge lord. Just oh, I'm gonna write this fan fiction. <laughs> spiteful scribblings. There's a phrase. Oh dear, <laughs> it's it's really silly. Uh, I do I do love how silly it is. Uh, so yeah. Um, they're they're quite cool, actually. I I like I like Script Mortis. He's he seems like a fun fella at parties. But even jokes aside, I like the model. I think Night Haunts are probably the army I might choose. Though painting them, I got a feeling I oh, painting them would be a pain in the ass. I just know it. But they do look cool. They do look rather cool, and I want to know what they do in game. It turns out his quill is also one hell of a melee weapon. There's a point. Does he even have? Oh, please say he can stab people with his quill. Oh, that would be the funniest thing in game. <laughs> he turns into John Wick. Just yeah, I've seen the I've seen the script of Mortis kill seven people with his quill. Right, let's go into the rules now that I've mentioned it. Or maybe he lamps people with a lamp. <laughs> I will lamp you with a lamp if you've gone a tiny bit psychotic there, dear. <laughs> Man, I really want to rewatch the thick of it, but let's get into the rules. Right, so these are the rules, and he attacks people with... This is the best model ever. He attacks people with the quill. That's all you need to know. He attacks people with the quill. Why Why wouldn't you use him in-game? He is obviously the best choice. He is... Right... I want to know what his quill does. So, malicious quill. It's not just any quill. It's malicious. Range one. Three attacks with the quill. <laughs> Get in. Uh, you're hitting on fours. Wounding on threes, though. So, it's quite a big old stab he does. Rending one. Damage one. I... I... Oh, <laughs> is there anything stopping me from having an army of just script and mortists? Where I can just push them up the front and then just have them stab everyone to death with their pen. Oh, dear. That's funny. Anyway, I guess you want to know about the stats. He's got role of a leader. I mean, hell, he can kill people with a quill. So, 
Maybe that's wise. Uh, 130 points, so quite cheap in comparison to some of the other leaders. Uh, movement 8, he moves fast. How does he... Right, I'm not going to... Uh, no, uh, how does he move so fast? <laughs> I don't know. He just writes, does... I, d I don't know. Um, save of a 4, bravery 10. I guess he is pretty brave if he's killing people with his quill. And stabbing them in the eyes and doing whatever. Wound 6, uh, which is quite nice. Uh, this unit can fly. Oh, that's nice. I like how all the night haunts can just fly. That is quite funny to me. They all can just fly around. Obvi I mean, it's obvious because they're all ghosts, in it? But I, I love that. There is something quite nice about going, Ah, oh, yes, terrain. I don't need to worry. Warm. Uh, flickers of the witch light. I beg your pardon. Is this some sort of <laughs> rule 34 shit? Uh, flickers of the witch light. <laughs> Ooh, woo. Uh, right, so. Uh, once per phase, you can allocate one wound or mortal wound that would be allocated to this hero to a friendly n night horn summable unit within six inches of this hero instead. So you can transfer, uh, you can transfer precisely one wound. Uh, because it's once per phase. So, yeah, you can just go, nope, this guy's going to get it. Uh, sen sentence to Eternal Torment. In your hero phase, you can say that this unit is going to record the name of a judge soul. <laughs> I'm not saying that. I'm just, it's just, I like how the rules say you have to, you can say it. It's like, no. Imagine that you're in a public place playing Warhammer and the next thing you, your opponent just goes, I am going to judge one of your models. Mm. If you do, it's such a stupid idea. Um, you pick one enemy hero that does not have the death keyword and that is visible to this unit to be the judge soul. At the start of each, <laughs> at the start of each um, of your subsequent hero phases, if the judge soul and this unit are on the battlefield, you can make a judgment roll for the judge soul, and this unit cannot record the name of a different judge soul in that phase. In addition, oh god! <laughs> in addition, if the battle would end and the judge soul and the unit are on the battlefield, then before the battle ends, you must make a judgment roll for the judge soul. Oh boy. To make a judgment roll, it's, it's just it's just like a massive word salad of rules. I don't mind it. It's just I don't play Age of Sigmar. It's a bit daunting. But then again, it's it's probably normal. Uh I mean hell, what's that unit where it's just like ah yes, whoops all rules. I think it was oh it was an eighth edition, it was a towel unit called the eight. It was called the Eight, and you could... Oh, it had, like, a billion bloody rules for that one unit. It was, like, a special 2,000-point unit or something daft. But it had all weird abilities and all sorts of shenanigans you could do. Anyway, to make a judgment roll, roll a dice. Ooh! Sorry. I don't know why I went, ooh, like that's something new. I've never heard of rolling a dice before. If the roll is less than the number of the current battle round, the judge... So... Oh, God, this reminds me of that Necron ability, uh, Auric and the Diviner, where... Where if if you roll less than the battle round, he gets his special ability, but it's never almost... It's never worth it. But this one sort of is worth it, because the judge soul suffers 2d6 mortal wounds. Yeah, I think that's worth it. <laughs> oh dear, round two, you roll a one, and it's like, ah, lol, get yeeted. <laughs> Twelve mortal wounds, son, what are you gonna do? Uh, <laughs> just die, I guess. Uh, the same unit cannot be picked for, for <laughs> to be a judge soul more than once in the same battle. Oh, uh, so you can't just spam it. <laughs> Though, hang on, the same unit cannot be... So it doesn't matter if you have, like, three of these guys floating. You can't just go, right, sod this guy in particular. Hom, ne, hom, ne, hom. <laughs> oh, that's brutal. Round two, you roll a one and then just do 12 mortal wounds on someone. That would be the funniest thing ever. It's like, oh, I can't wait to use this new unit. Oh, well, I guess I'm not using it anymore. Um, so, yeah. Uh, but it... <laughs> 
the death keyword. So if you're fighting other night haunts, then this guy would be kind of pointless because all because night haunts have the death keyword. I assume all of them do. Okay, I think that's all of them. Or at least the majority of them. So if you're fighting against other night haunts, then you can't do it. <laughs> That's quite cool. I like I like I like Scriptomortis. He's a, he's a solid model, and yeah, solid rules. Six wounds, movement eight. He's quite fast, and his pen is surprisingly quite vicious. Uh, yeah, rending minus one. That <laughs> I like the idea. You can buff him so he can have more rending and stuff. It's like yeah, this this yeah this Mortis is going to be like John Wick and just stabs everyone in the face. <laughs> Oh dear. Anyway, I've been Idiotic Synergy, and I'll see you later. Bye for now, and take care, stay safe, and look after each other. See you later.